Welcome back. Um, following our expression language series, in this tutorial we're going to touch on string search using expression language. Haven't done so. Make sure you go to this repository in your clone, your local, um, and go to this folder. Here we have all the templates used in this video. Let's back. Let's go into our canvas and import this uh, search string template. You want to go to template box. And on the drop down here. template from the GitHub repo, string search. Let's open it <clears throat> and see what are we going to Basically, we're going to instantiate a new flow file. We're going to create an um, attribute, previous, the same value as previous in our previous story. And then we're going to we're going to expose it to some functions. We have the function that it all contains. It will return a value of, uh, will ret return a Boolean value if the value string is found in the incoming attribute value. If none is found, he will return a value false. Ends with. The ends, the ends with uh, function will evaluate the incoming attribute value and will return a true or false. In our case, it's going to be true because my phrase ends with this particular exclamation sign. Fine. To find the function will return a value of true or false. If he is, he will find this particular string inside the value of the incoming attribute. In. In this case, what we're doing um, the in um, uh, function will evaluate an incoming attribute. And in my case, we're saying we give it a lit literal value, meaning like this value will be evaluated against a list of uh, options. We can even have one or multiple. In this case, this is going to return a value of true because byte exists in this particular list. Matches. So matches function uses a regular expression to return true or false um, in our case. So if the string value or the outcome of this regular expression is found in the incoming attribute value, then he will return a true. He requires a regex as an argument and he will return a boolean of value. Starts with um, this is straightforward. Uh, he will evaluate the incoming string value and he will uh, return a true or false if the string starts with this value. So let's go ahead and run this and evaluate the outcome. We're going to let one flow go through, run this update attribute, run the, the function, and we see we have an outcome. Then we move all the attributes into a single payload adjacent content and let's evaluate basically this is the string that it was evaluated against contains in fine ends with matches starts with so does um this particular string contains the value string correct true the in was we, we evaluated using a literal so here we evaluate if bytes it's in that byte list, so that's true. The find will, uh, he tries to find the string, so it returns me a true. Does it ends with an exclamation? Correct, is true. Matches, again, uh, the string, the outcome of that particular regex is the string, true, and starts with this, it's true. Basically, the string um, search, they're very powerful, but they're very costly in the same time. Be careful when you use them because you might have massive payloads and you will uh, overload your system, basically. Each of the, the function that we covered, it's used to search um, through text of the incoming attribute.